That's how I remember it. <laughs> That's, how I remember, That's it. how I remember it. I'm just a little girl. Click, 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 Say it right now. They're getting uh, Colin Mockery, uh, Ryan Styles, <laughs> uh, doing a, a trio with uh, Bobby Moynihan. It's gonna be big. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah They've yeah. never met. No. So it's but, gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. And they're gonna meet for the first time at the show. Yeah. Yeah. And, and they're you know, gonna do it nude. And Bobby Moynihan is committing to only doing his little stinker character. Oh my god. Please do that character forever. <laughs> I don't mind if he just lives the rest of his life as little stinker. <laughs> <laughs> So that's all in the contract. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fuck. Yeah. Well, guys, go see Calvin yeah. Ball every third Friday of every month. Do it. Yeah. Plugs are out of the way. Oh, oh that's a relief. God, Ooh. that hurt. Man, oh. man. It but, hurt uh, my soul to say all those things. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I meant every word.
Some suggestions make your listening experience better. Better, 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 better. Mailbag. Oh my god, can we cut that out and play it before every episode? That was great. Uh, in fairness, we said that about the last mailbag song from episode two or three, and we never did it. So, okay, I I might have, we might have did it once. I can't wait for that new spin-off podcast, Mailbag. Mailbag. Yeah. Oh yeah, it'll be great. Oh, like, it's gonna air right before Ship Brickley. Ship Brickley, our spin-off yeah. podcast that never happened. <laughs> yeah. um, um, I've actually got the letter this time because no big deal, guys. I got a new printer. Yeah, I'm finally moving into the 1990s. It is, it's a, just a person writing with a quill in his bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, what do you guys do? HP. A, yeah, Destrat. All oh. the way. <laughs> Destrat all the way. <laughs> oh, these laser jet suckers can suck more dude. <laughs> Actually, I know for a fact that Shojo has a laser printer because I gave it to him. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Yeah. Well, as soon as I quit my job, that was the first gift I got. Yeah. <laughs> so it means a lot. I, it's I one of those it. things I don't know why I don't have a fucking printer bec- until now because... Uh, I feel like whenever you buy a computer, they're like, they'll just throw a printer at you for free. Is that not the case? But I guess I haven't bought a computer in a while. Yeah, I, I guess that, or, or a scanner. Oh, or a printer. A scanner. Printer. I was like, when, you, when you buy a scanner, they'll throw you a printer? <laughs> yeah. That seems like a deal. <laughs> uh, sorry, guys, here we go. Uh, it's real short. I love you! All caps. Good start. Nice. Any exclamation points on there? No, it's just, I love you! There's actually no punctuation in it at all. Which, um, I'm sorry, Keith. Punctuation, please. Mm-hmm. Uh, you fucked up. Yeah. All right, let me restart. So you're out, Keith. <laughs> yeah, 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 scamp. <laughs> I love you! There will be blood. All lowercase. <laughs> So we're going to do I love, I love You, the movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That... yeah we don't know if that's a suggestion yeah, or know, like yeah. a threat. Yeah, did we yeah. Just, just get a death threat? <laughs> yeah, we did. We mixed messages there, Keith. Yeah. I feel like we finally hit the big time when we start getting death threats, though. So thank you, Keith. Thanks, yeah. man. You know what? Any death threats you may have, send them to that's how I remember yeah. it at gmail.com. <laughs> uh, for uh, those of you that are uh, listeners, you know that we're trying to do listener suggestions every week, so please do send us a listener suggestion so that we can do it. Mm. Love you. Uh, and thank you, Keith. We're going to do There Will Be Blood. Thanks, man. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Uh, so what we do first is um, we start with an impression off uh, to decide who's going to be the main character. Um, and I believe that would be that one Philip Seymour guy? Hoffman. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Day-Lewis. Da- the other three name guy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. DDL. Uh, Jessica Sarah Parker. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay, Daniel Day-Lewis. Uh, does he have an impression? I he, in that know. movie, yeah. He what is has, he like a like a Texas guy, oil baron? What are we talking? He's an oil baron. Oil man. I don't know if I saw it's it. It's an oil man. I mean, yeah. I saw it. I remember it. I'll drink your milkshake. Oh, that's oh. it. Okay. Yeah, it's oh. this voice. Ah, uh, Russell P. Titus. <laughs> I don't know his name. <laughs> What's the name of the character? I Fuck, know. It's a it's, fa- what is it? Jeremy Bloods. Daniel Plainview. That's right. Oh, yeah. Oh. Daniel Plainview. I'm an oil man. I do oil. The milkshake. Yeah. <laughs> Mike, you're up. <clears throat> Daniel Plainview here. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly more British. <laughs> oh, hello. Daniel Plainview, and I came to steal some oil. Do you mind if I have a milkshake? Oh, look at this. It's oil. <laughs> Daniel Plain. <laughs> Daniel Plain. <laughs> Down to this. Uh, why don't we get oh, Q to way, anchor the impressions? Real character acting. He didn't even have to... Whenever someone would say Daniel, he'd just be like, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that guy's a real method actor. Congratulations. Oh, the, the, you didn't know that? In, uh, he, In he insists that he's always... Da- yeah, Daniel Lincoln, he played. Yeah. They, just, mm-hmm. they never mention the first name because they're like, fuck. 
Daniel, my left foot. I, yeah. God damn it! That was the joke I was going for. <laughs> I was about to. Fuck joke. you! Amazing. I was setting it up just to say Daniel, my left foot, and you interrupted with Lincoln. I was like, okay, we'll deal with Lincoln, but I'm getting to Daniel, my left foot. <laughs> I'm oh, trying man. to think of what's what's the other movie you did. I don't even. Those Daniel Gangs of New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he doesn't do movies <laughs> very often, yeah. but when he does, there he's yeah. always he, great. Uh, uh, Daniel Mohican. Oh, la- yeah, Daniel, The Last of the Mohicans. Daniel, comma, The Last of the Mohicans. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's not doing movies, isn't he? Like, uh, 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 he builds things out of wood. Oh, he's like a Ron Swanson? I, Ron no, Swanson. I think he's, um, uh, it may be that, but isn't he also like a cobbler? Like, he makes shoes? Yeah. That's it. That's, that's, it. that's yeah. what I meant. Yeah. yeah. He's so old-timey. Yeah. Very, yeah. Well, he doesn't like people, I think, is the deal. Yeah. Yeah. Can you blame him? And you have you ever heard uh, Paul F. Tompkins talk about being on the set of There Will Be Blood? No. He was in that movie? Just like, yeah. Yeah, he has like one line. Oh, cool. Um, and, uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm next? Yeah. Um, Daniel Plainview. <laughs> why, why even more British? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you ever take oil and water and mix it together? Well, it's a neat little experiment. Try it at home, kids. <laughs> Mr. Wizard. <laughs> Milkshakes. <laughs> All, right, All right, right. Is this my turn for... Okay. <clears throat> I am an oil man. <laughs> I'm Daniel Plainview. I am a family man. This is my boy, H.W. Hello. <laughs> It's not bad. It's Quiet, not... boy. <laughs> You're just supposed to look cute. <laughs> it's not bad. Nice. Nice. Not British, but nice. Yeah. Nice. nice. All right. Yeah. Fucking get British. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was so funny. Like, John's had, like, a just a hint of British that I picked up on. And then Shuggle picked up on that and was just a full-on, like, yeah. king of England. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like he's a British guy trying to get rid of it and do an American accent. So he hits, mm-hmm. he hits Southern, like, really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I think he... You ever see, uh, ba, 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 I think, is it Gingerbread Man, maybe? Where Kenneth Branagh is a Southern lawyer? Oh, boy. There was, in the mid-90s... Isn't that a movie about vampires and it's an allegory to periods nope what's what am i thinking of i have no idea uh, <laughs> it's like a canadian Jerry? oh no wolf, werewolves werewolves oh 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 yeah sorry you're thinking of ginger snaps yeah oh. ginger and snaps. The, well, that's the movie where the character's name was ginger and she goes a little crazy ginger snaps oh, oh. by go crazy do you mean that she's she thinks a she's a werewolf isn't she a werewolf uh i think there's an implication of like you're she definitely starts attacking people but you're not sure if she's actually a werewolf oh, it's one of those okay. yeah well does she grow hair all over her body yes she does yeah but it, nobody else sees it so it only like is it she just seeing it on herself you know what uh, I mean it's a cool movie it's Canadian I think it's quite good and it yeah. had some shitty sequels I yeah think. I think sequels were kind of considered garbage but I think that's one of those movies where it again. really hinged on uh, the performances of the two girls in it and then the sequels probably had not the same girls in it and so we're suddenly terrible. And I think they were like prequels or something. Or one of them was at least a prequel, I think. Yeah, fuck those. Anyway, whatever. Yeah. Ginger Snaps. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> the character impression off. It's a full right. moon. Uh, I think you should do it. What do you I guys think? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm voting yeah. for Q. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, and Mike's a strong contender for HW. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and all he needs to do is be cute, according to uh, Q. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stay out of sight. Okay, uh, and one more thing before we start, we got to do the uh, anthem for the song. What? Has God, <laughs> my brain is on fire to be broken. Uh, <clears throat> Did you just say my brain is on fire to be broken? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay, you want to do the uh, theme song? One last thing before we start, before we start the movie. <laughs> Is uh, we gotta do the theme song. He really thinks I'm cutting it out. That's um, hilarious. <laughs> okay, let me just get that clean. Let me get that clean. And okay, one last thing before we start. Uh, we gotta do the. Sorry, you laughed a little bit. <laughs> okay. And edit points. Anthem. Let's oh, start. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Edit point. Okay.
And one last thing before we start the movie is we're gonna do the theme song from There Will Be Blood! And clean edit point. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, guys. Good, good job, everyone. Everyone, this. Your Christmas bonuses are in my butt. <laughs> Jesus. Here we go. There Will Be Blood theme song. Right. All right. Daddy old plain views coming to town. Shit's gonna gonna get down. Well, well, let there be oil, oil, coming up from the ground. That shit's gonna get down, cause Daniel's in town. Well, let there be oil, 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 I'm an 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 oil man. on a 20 minute silent sequence where <laughs> Daniel Day Lewis is mining for gold alone in the desert. Ching! It's 20 minutes of silence. Oh, it's doing it. Shh, 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 shh. This is like the really interesting part of the story where we, we get really invested and we sort of lean forward in our seats. Yeah, okay. We get to know the character just by the way that he acts when nobody's watching. Shh. I get it, sound effects, but I understand. And we see the sun coming down, and it's sort of, uh, it symbolizes the sun coming down on his life. So, shh. Sh Wait, this, uh, you, you said the sun's going down? It's coming down. The sun is going down? Yeah. On him? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Okay. I don't like that. Yeah. Oh, God, he's moving dynamite. Shh, no, no, don't okay. talk about it. Don't talk about it. Okay. okay. So I go, and you're like, fuck, is that dynamite going to explode? If it does, what's he going to do? He's alone. Ching! So oh, we're going to, just can't guess. Fucking, come on, man. Sorry, sorry, sorry. He's not picking anymore. He has the dynamite. Yeah. yeah. Is he? He's licking. I think his leg's trapped. Oh, fuck! His leg's trapped. Oh, 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 oh no, he's okay. He's okay. Oh, fair enough. Okay, good. Is that, a, is that a new shirt? I don't know him personally, so... Yeah, but yeah sure, it's a new shirt. Yeah. <laughs> never seen him wear that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, you've never seen this movie before, I guess. I guess so. Okay. Shh, 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 Ching! He doesn't even have a horse. That's how lone. That's how lonely he is. That's how much he, like he's trying to get away from society, not just people. Mm. But society. Can't even trust a horse. But can't can, even trust a horse. Can he even bring a horse where he's mighty? Like, isn't that underground? You can't bring a ha horse underground. Well, he's going into the. Uh, as you know from watching what we're watching. Yeah. Uh, he's going into a hole. A hole. Okay. So I'm saying. Ooh. Ooh. Ah! You see the text appears uh, on the screen, big letters. There will be, and then blood is written in red, and it's dripping blood. <laughs> we cut to uh, the bank as Daniel Plainview sells his gold that he's acquired. He's covered in soot from the explosion. Hello, bank teller. Good day, sir. Oh, I see you've got uh, quite a deposit there in your pants. In what? <laughs> Never mind that. No, Here's a I... bag of gold. <laughs> oh, that's fair enough. I thought we were going to have some witty panther first. But I suppose we'll get right into the gold transaction. <laughs> I don't like Brits. Oh, don't you? 
Well, I'm sorry, but old banks are owned by British people. Americans can't be trusted with their money. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the gold. I'll get back to you shortly. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have another American bringing in gold. An American? I know. What does he want? He, well, he doesn't want to engage in witty banter, I'll tell you that much. No banter? I know. You go back out there and you demand banter. I will. You deserve banter. Thank you, sir. All right, here I go. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. I've decided that banter is not optional. So here we go. All right, give me my gold back. No, that's not banter, that's just a declaration. <laughs> I would like to remove my business from this bank. I don't trust you. Where do you want to put your business? Sophie? How's the banter? I don't hear banter. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, you're talking to me. I've never heard you use my first name before. It's apparently Sophie. <laughs> uh, all right. That's your name. No, I was established through the rules of improv. I understand. The name hasn't been said yet, so whoever says it first, that's the name. I guess I Don't was... make a big deal about it. I guess I was just surprised that I'm a woman. Not me. You uh, sound like a lady. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here, Mr. Manager. Yep. I would like my gold back. I do not trust you people. He's not even saying this gold is, is not a... even good banter. That's what I'm saying. It's not even a metaphor for anything. God, Sophie, you look good in that dress. Thank you, sir. You look good so on feminine. my face. Is that good banter? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's banter, all right. Oh, that's you... it. I'm digging for oil on this <laughs> bank. <laughs> on this bank? <laughs> Get out of the way. I think there's oil under the ground here. He opens up a briefcase and takes out a jackhammer. <laughs> well, oh, God. Sophie, come here for a second. Sidebar. Sidebar. Do you think he knows there's a legal rule in this municipality that anyone what? that chooses so just to, to drill, dig, drill yes. for oil in any location Abonimous. may do so yes. without permission of the owner? And automatically is given a legal claim to the property. Hopefully he doesn't know that rule. Hopefully he doesn't know that rule. Oh, let's go back. Okay, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> oh, uh, would you like, you'd like your gold back? Uh, oh, no. Yes, but I'm going to strike oil soon and I'll have even more gold. So never mind that gold. Wait. Oh, you mean black gold? Texas tea? <laughs> yes, I'm going to move to Beverly Hills. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd like to see that happen. Oh, American. <laughs> I have struck oil. I am an oil, oil man. man. <laughs> oil man. Oil will be black. Oil. There will be black. There will be black. I'll drink your milkshake. <laughs> we see the text come up again, and suddenly we see that Daniel Plainview is riding in a rickety uh, uh, hillbilly type craft. Craft? Jalopy toward Beverly Hills. He's got his grandmother in, uh, in a lounge chair in the back seat. <laughs> Where are you taking me, boy? Quiet, grandmother. I'm going to Beverly Hills. I have struck oil, and I'm an oil man. What do you say, H.W., my cute boy? I like oils. <laughs> That's enough from you. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I. That's how I get all of my favorite things, like this Tinker Tots. Is that a toy that kids use? Yes, make? enjoy your Tinker Tots. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> Maybe with all that oil money, I can get a new lounge chair for this jalopy. That's quite possible, Grandmother. I'm the hot one, Ellie Mae. Yes, you shall be my wife, Ellie Mae. All right, cousin. Oh, this is going to be the best road trip ever. <laughs> yeah. So, Dad, when you struck oil in that bank uh, and made all that money, how did it feel? I have a competition in me. Mm -hmm. I want no one else to succeed. Mm. I hate most people. I want them to die. Wow, Dad, I want to be just like you someday. Quiet. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
We cut to the social club, club in Beverly Hills. This is fun. This is like fun. Like just sitting by the pool. This is like fun. Am I right, guys? It's uh, so great. Like we could sit anywhere, but yeah. when you're sitting close to water, there's just something special about it. I think the thing I like most is how like we just have to be around people of our same social class. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I we're not surrounded by anybody of a lower or like hi even higher. Like higher would also be off putting, but like just. Just people right in this social class, you know yeah. what I mean? We all make the exact same salary every year. Oh my god, exact same. If any of us gets a raise, yeah. they're out. Go to a different country club down oh. the road. Totally. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. Ugh. 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 Barf. 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 Can you imagine being around people that made less or more money than you? Yeah. I don't even want to think about it. No. It Hello. Just, just... Oh. Oh. Hello. Uh, who let you in? I am Daniel Plainview. I'm an oil man. This is a nice pool. Uh, yes, nice. yes, it's a great pool. We just like to sit around it and yeah, yeah. I assume you sitting close to water is better than sitting. Uh, elsewhere. Yeah, yes. it's been established. Uh, 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 sir, do you, do you do you have a pay stub on you by any chance? We just got to check a few things. Yeah, a, a pay stub. Yeah, salary yeah. wise, it's, we a just, it's a country club, so yeah. yeah, yeah. We tie all social status to uh, monetary income. Mm -hmm. Yes. So well, we just need to know that you're up to snuff and not above snuff. Or yes. below snuff. Just at snuff. Just right at snuff. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, check out this bag. It's a bag full of oil. Nah. That Wait. couldn't be that couldn't be right. Black gold? Texas tea? I don't know how I feel about that here at Snuff Manor. I am an oil man. Okay. And I don't like this socializing. You people are too social. Well, what did you expect when you walked into a social club? Yeah. And also like, doesn't that constitute more money than we have? That oil? I yeah. It's just it's, one bag of oil, though. How much could that possibly be worth? I don't know. Huh? Oh, oh, let's uh. Let's check. Hold on. Let's check the the trades. Yep. All right. Hold on. <laughs> the newspaper like <laughs> <laughs> twists and turns on the screen. It's, uh, oil prices rise. Yeah. And automobile driving economy. <laughs> Pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh no! So the automobile is making uh, oil a desirable commodity. Hmm. He's probably wealthy. 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 But he has a chair tied to the back of his car, with an old lady in it. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really confused. Is he above our social status because of his money, or below our social status because of his clearly clear lack of class? Do you think that his lack of class puts him below us? But yeah. then his money puts us above us, which puts him right at snuff. 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 All right. We accept you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Come on in. Would you like to sit by this water? I want to uh, drill this pool for oil. Wait. What? what? I no. think there's oil underneath this pool. Oh, hold pool. on, sir. You don't think he knows about the uh, rule that <laughs> if, you, if you choose to drill in a place uh, for oil, then you automatically take possession of that land. You don't, I don't you, think he would know about that. It's a very obscure law. Okay, well, hopefully... He, if he figures that out, then, you know, we're screwed. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Just be really nice to him. Just be yeah, really yeah. nice to him. Wanna suck your dick? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> suck, suck that dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll suck it. Oh, God. The three of them just start scratching at imagined sores on their faces. We'll suck that dick. <laughs> You'll snuff dick. Mm, come on, baby. Pull it out, baby. Pull it out. We'll suck it. Show us that thing. Oh, my God. No thing, no ring. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, all right, all right. Oh, I only have one desire. <laughs> Which is what, sir? Your death. What? Mm. What does he mean by Wait, that? Wait, sidebar for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think he knows the rule that if anyone ever says, I only have one desire, your death, that you're legally obligated to kill yourself in a very elaborate and painful way? It's a very obscure rule, but I, I guess I'm a law-abiding, tax-paying citizen. I'm a I... law tax. I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess we have to final destination ourselves guys <clears throat> okay uh, i guess let's do it maybe just one last you know kiss guys, kiss yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wait you want me to suck that dick yeah, no. <laughs> no there's no time okay 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 oh ooh, what about this as an elaborate death 
what about you ingest arsenic? Okay. I suck that dick, and then the arsenic comes out that dick into my mouth, and I, don't I know die. If that's medically. Hmm? No, no. Then, then hmm? I suck his ass, right? Hmm. hmm? You don't want me to? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. All right. I, I guess if I'm the one taking the arsenic, then. All right. Well, I have this arsenic pill. So. <laughs> <laughs> he takes a pill out of a pill box in his pocket, eats the pill. And just immediately starts convulsing and foaming at the mouth. <laughs> yeah, he but, dies before <laughs> the pants can even come up. God damn it! Now we have to come up with our own deaths. Uh, okay, all right. Oh, oh that Hmm. Okay. Well, but, 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 we could. What if we take that guy's oil? Okay. Yeah. We dump it in that pool, right? Right, right. Oh, yeah. Mix, we, mix oil. We glue feathers to ourselves. All right. Yeah. Like duck costume. Jump in that oil. Get covered with oil, so that we can't swim. We just sink to the bottom and drown. Die where we love. Okay, it seems like you're, you're not following me. I'm nope. just going to do it myself. You come up with your own death. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I have struck oil. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's just you and me, brother. Oh. Oh. You're still, you're still alive. <laughs> Daniel just snaps his neck. I hate most people. <laughs> H.W., come in here. Hello, Dad. Hello, hello. What's up? Why did you crawl in here like a bug? <laughs> uh, I'm working on my, my scuttling. Do you like it? Fine. I scuttle for you, Dad. I'll scuttle for you every day. Cousin, I'm here from the cement pond. Oh, the oil again. All right, I guess I'll just go home. Make some chicken. Yes, you will be my bride. I'm the hot one. Yes. I was gonna enjoy the cement pond, but never mind. Never mind. Okay, so, uh, <laughs> so, Dad, uh, I think there's oil in here. <laughs> He's pointing at his heart. <laughs> Dad, there's oil in here, and it's time for you to start digging and learning more about me. H. Debs. H. W. That. That sounds like a, a metaphor. Are you, is it a metaphor? Metaphor, meta five. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Cassie knows. <laughs> she would love that. <clears throat> we cut to somewhere else. <laughs> um, let's bring we, in Paul Dano we uh, alright fine <laughs> we got to the uh, head of the British Association <laughs> oh, this is American claiming all of America he's just going and drilling for oil finding oil and taking all of our hard won British property here in America how will we stop him gentlemen <laughs> gentleman how will we stop him well, we, we've got to come up with the most, most devious of plans. Just, just sneak up on him so he doesn't expect us. <laughs> like the tiger in the, in the Indies. You know? <laughs> the tiger the tiger. But he's able to just sneak up on him, go into his habitat, and just blast him with a cannon of some kind. Yes, <laughs> you know, British rule, British rule. Maybe, <laughs> maybe some muskets. Yes. Hi there. Uh, I uh, I have a brother who is, uh, looks very similar to me. He's a twin of mine, and uh, he has a plot of land that has oil on it. Uh, gentlemen, I wonder if uh, if you want to beat the Americans there and claim that land. You said he's a twin of mine, which I feel like implies that you have multiple twins, and he's just one of them. Is exactly, that... yes. Okay, just wanted to clarify. Right, okay. I'll see you later. Fair enough. <laughs> So, I just thought the British Empire might want to... It's the largest oil patch in all of America. And if uh, if Britain wants to keep America, you'll probably have to drill for it before Americans. Mm, yes. Only I know where it is, though. It's on my family farm. So you want to you wanna help us? And what I do just, you want out of it? I want you to pay me a lot of money. How much? Seventeen. 
Is that dollars? The dollar, no. Dollars? Uh, That's it. No, you made your choice. I didn't. No, I didn't. here's seventeen dollars. No taxi backsies. No taxi backsies. No no backsies. Oh, backsies. damn it! This is there's a there's an unknown law, a little known law <laughs> that uh, it's the no taxi backsies law. Sorry. I'm Queen's aware. Law. I am a law abiding, tax abiding citizen. So you know what? Here's <laughs> seventeen. Oh shoot! I only have sixteen dollars. Ah! There's a little. No. Okay. I, I got uh, fifty pen. Uh, pen. Ah. I got fifty pen. <laughs> So we just need 50 pounds more to make 17. I have tea and crumpets. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's let's check the exchange rate. And Our tea is up one. today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I have this bag of human teeth. Ooh. Does that help? Yes. Does it? They're British teeth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So there you go. We've got 16 plus 50 pair. It seems plus like... Plus a bag of tea. All right. It's... And tea and crumpet. It seems like you gentlemen are not committed to keeping British rule on American soil. So maybe I'll find someone else to buy the largest oil plot in America. How dare you? Yes. We, so, we Brits want America. Well, what you, why are you guys approaching me with knives? What? No, I... Tell us where the oil is. No, I... Tell us. You, you said it's on your family you farm You promised you'd already. pay me $17. And you didn't give me... So I'm not telling you. I'm not... Stop it! No, stop! 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 Ah. stop. Stop. Ah, stop. 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 My twins will get revenge. How know. many twins does he have? I don't know. <laughs> twins implies two, it right? Does. Yes. It only implies yes. one other. So it's hard to say what that even means, and we may never know. Unless you don't think clones. <gasps> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we cut to Minnesota, where a genetic research lab is in full swing. Well, uh, gentlemen, it seems like we've uh, 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 done it. Uh, we've we've made cryogenic freezing a reality, and in addition to that, we've also uh, made a warp tunnel to uh, traverse space and time. And uh, in addition to that, uh, we've also uh, been able to crack the genetic code and build mutants and in addition to that uh uh, uh cloning hmm. so uh, i guess we just need to get funding uh and then decide which uh, uh research uh, we should uh follow uh, uh immediately uh, i'm a nerd <laughs> <laughs> this big closet of people all looks the same yeah, okay, thank you, uh, Bob. Uh, that's the clone, so... I call it the twin closet. Yeah, that's the twin closet. That is the but, twin But closet. there's more than two of them. Yeah, I don't, I don't know how to count so good. Yeah, we just call it the uh, twins on account of... Uh, we don't want the, the government sticking their uh, dirty British noses in here. <laughs> the oh. clones are an American uh, 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 invention, so... That's that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a nerd. Oh. You, you don't think this plan's gonna backfire? In what uh, way could it possibly backfire? Uh, we have uh, all of the technology and uh, none of the. Uh, hey boss, what does this red button do? No, don't don't press. I'm it. just gonna hit the red button. Oh no, don't! Kill. No, I'm just gonna hit it. Oh, uh, oh. 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 oh you fool! You fool! <laughs> You've, you've created a black hole! Oh no! Oh, we're gonna be sucked through space and time! Oh, oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> what is this? What do we have here? Oh no, we've been taken to the British Society. It took us through space, but not time. <laughs> <laughs> and not space, even. I mean, physical space, but not. Yeah, it's definitely... Outer space. No, but it's still the dimensional space. We've traveled... We've definitely been transported through. Yeah. We're still on Earth, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, if, if... I mean, maybe that is uh, even more miraculous that we've matched the rotation and and, uh, and movement of Earth uh, to still stay on its surface. Through that black hole. Good work, Professor. <laughs> I'm a nerd. Uh, anyway. So, what brings you oh! scallywagons here? British... Uh, we, um, are a researchers from, from university. university. We've 
come to ask you um, for donations. Yes, donations. Hmm. Donations, but... I have tea and crumpets. Oh, Ooh. I have a bag of human teeth. And I've got 16. 16 what? Million dollars? Oh, you said oh, it! 16 million. Uh, you promised. No, Baxies, thank you very uh, much. I knew. You owe us 16 million dollars. Our own law just used against us. <laughs> Ha-ha! Well, I guess you've won, fellows. Here's 16 million. <laughs> Thank just, you. He just... Let's go for... I don't know. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> oh, boy! The ceiling, the ceiling opens. 16 million coins just drops from the ceiling. Ow! Ow! <laughs> just, Ow! Sergeant had the most defeated look on his face. <laughs> he, he lets go of a... I don't know. <laughs> Who even cares anymore? We're all going to die someday. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Sorry if the podcast is that I just, taxing, I just had, yeah. <laughs> Good podcast. No, I just had a crisis. No, it was just a personal crisis. Just like, oh, well, I apologize. It's not even podcast related. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I, uh, I just for some reason just realized what I'm doing with my life <laughs> at that moment in time <laughs> he's so, like I'm never gonna have 16 million dollars I'm never gonna right. <laughs> yeah hey fuck like what am I doing guys what am I doing like once this podcast is over I'm just going back to being that piece of shit garbage human that I am fuck. and I yeah I, like a part of me wants this to last forever because <laughs> Then I don't need to go back to reality, right? Um, They're all yeah. crushed by the coins. <laughs> I'm an oil man. I'm an oil man. Uh, oil. Oh, oil man. Oh, 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 oh. There will be blood. Oh, oh. There will be blood. I'll drink your milkshake. There will be blood. <laughs> the, the title explodes on screen again. <laughs> Act two. We <laughs> we cut back to the abandoned uh, Minnesota research facility where a bunch of clones wake up for the first time. Oh well. Wait, uh, uh, what, what, uh, 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 uh what, what, oil. what am I? Where, where am I? We need oil. 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 We need oil. Also, you look like me. You, you look, look like, like me. me. He, uh, he looks like me. He looks like me. He looks like me. He looks like me. You look like me. You look like me. He looks like me. He looks like me. We look like me. You look like me. I look like you. You look like me. I look like you. Me looks like who? Who looks like you? Who looks like me? Me look to. Look to who here? I look like me. Me likes who? I'm an oil man. An oil man? I'm an oil man. An oil man? Oil clones. Oil clones. Oil clones. I'll drink your Jesus. The clones all look the same, but their eyes are, like, just oil slick black. Yeah, they, uh, they all pick up, uh, the only thing left in the empty room, uh, Bible. What? These are the words we must follow. Hmm. Huh. Trust. They read it in super speedy robot speed. Hmm. And then he rose. Then we must rose. We must rose up. Rose up. Rose up. Rose up. They begin their march down to Southern California. <laughs> they, they, they're just goose stepping down the street. Uh, we see a bunch of uh, Minnesota natives watch them pass by. Oh, that's oh, so oh, that's crazy. That's like <laughs> that, <laughs> that's, that's super weird. Am I right? You don't what? see that every day, yeah. no. Oh, hey, you know what I was thinking? What? Uh, you know that game we've been playing in that field uh, with the bases and the balls? Oh, soccer. Yeah. You. Know, I first of all, I was thinking we should change the name to baseball. <laughs> hey. Uh, We'd have to have a vote on it, we'll but I'm talk sure that about would pass. Yeah. Secondly, I feel like we need a name to establish ourselves. Um, how do you feel about the Minnesota clones? I like it. I yeah. like it. I like it. It's pretty good. Yeah. 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 All those twin-looking guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that wow, that's a long goes. way for that one joke. <laughs> I've been setting it up for a long time. <laughs> you know what? You took away his my left foot thing, so uh, yeah. he needed this. John needed this. <laughs> the worst shitty joke. <laughs> <laughs> Beverly Hills. 
This looks like a place for oil. <laughs> and we look around, we see an aerial shot of Beverly Hills, and it's just covered in oil, <laughs> except for one little place he's drilling in right now. All of the buildings have been knocked down, and it's just a fucking ocean of oil. And then we zoom out, we see California is the same. We zoom out, we see the entire west coast of America is just one black sheet of oil. And <laughs> there's a sign that can be read from space that says property of Daniel Plainview. We zoom back in. I am an oil man. <laughs> hey, H.W. Yes? <laughs> Are you still on the lookout for enemies? I'm just playing with my tinker tots. Please, Vista. Please. Uh, this is the last house left. Please don't. Don't take our house. It's hey, the only thing. Hey, Dad. I got this one. Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, but please don't kill us because my family... The, the boy, H.W., pulls a knife out of the, his, his jacket. Dad, look what you taught me how to do. And stabs her in the neck. <laughs> yes. Good boy. A dog, a dog walks up. Dad, I got this one. He picks up the dog by his ears and just slices the neck and tears the head off. Look what I did, Dad. I got this for you. Happy Christmas. There's oil coming out of the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and an autumn leaf. Just like I folks. got this one, Dad. <laughs> he takes the autumn leaf, stabs it through. Oil starts dripping out. Dad, I did this for you. Quiet, son. <laughs> hey, Dad, I got one more thing for you. He takes the knife, turns it inward towards his what, chest. What? What? I got this one for you, Dad. Oh, my boy! My boy! Oil explodes out of HW's chest. Oh, my boy! Oh! For you, Dad, anything for you. I wanted to be just like you. His a black oil from his heart pours out, covers the last few inches of the western coast of uh, America, so it's one total black sheet with Daniel Plainview just standing alone. Ah. <laughs> the oil starts forming into a shape that creeps up. Yes, feel your anger. Yes. Yes. Oil demon. Yes. I have come to kill, to take evil, to feel anger. Demon. <laughs> I killed Tasha Yar that one time. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway. I like the cut of your jib. Do you want to be friends? I... Uh... I do. Making your way I, 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 I've never, I've never liked anyone before. Yeah. I, I just, even my boy, he, he, I never told him this, but he was adopted. I only had him around because he was cute. Oh, backstory. Blah, blah, blah. Oil demon. Ah, uh, oil demon's wandering away. <laughs> oh, dude, wait. I oil. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Stupid. I, I love kids. Fuck money, marry a kid. Stupid ass. Stupid ass. <laughs> no, come back, oil demon. I, I have no friends. I'm gonna go. Find another planet is bullshit. Oh, oh. Oil demon. Oil demon. The oil follows the oil demon. <laughs> it sucks away from America. <laughs> It forms into one giant pillar, goes off the atmosphere, and leaves the planet Earth. What? What? There's, there's no more oil left. I don't know what, what to do with myself anymore. There's one milkshake <laughs> <laughs> on a table. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go into this diner. Oh, that, that's a good-looking milkshake. Excuse me, miss. Is this your milkshake? He's talking to a mannequin. Not saying much, huh? I'm gonna take this straw. And I'm going to go across the room and put this straw into your milkshake. When I do, I drink your milkshake. We see uh, outside the window of the diner just the blank faces of all the clones. They're like, yeah, go, like a ghostly, like a ghostly images of all the clones. Yeah, where they're uh, totally silent, just staring through the window. What? 
What are you looking at? The clones part slightly to reveal the sun standing behind them. Oh, that's so symbolic. The sun will set. <laughs> he takes out a stick of dynamite from his, from his pocket. Oopsie daisy. We land on the opening shot of him alone in the desert. We see that the bottom half of his body has been blown off, and we realize the entire movie has just been his mind firing randomly. And he dies. And the sun sets completely. That's how I remember it. That's how I remember it. That's that's, that's how, how I remember, I remember it. it. Yeah. Mm. It's dark. It was very uh, mm. it was dark it was movie. Somber. There's yeah. a. Was, you, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, you, do we? Was there blood? There, there was a little blood. <laughs> well, the blood was in his. Well, I guess yeah. No, the last shot of the movie is, has blood because we see the bottom half of his body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So it was the title was a bit of a spoiler, but you know, <laughs> yeah, that's okay. But it's just in, the only real blood is in the last shot of the movie. Yeah, like it's not like I, John dies at the end. Like that is a rough title for a movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Fucking hipster. Come on, cracked. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> um, just that whole thing reminded me. Have you guys ever seen the Twilight Zone episode? I think it's called Encounter at Owl Creek or something like that. I think you mean Encounter at Far Point. It was the first episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. It might not be Encounter. It's something at Owl, Owl Creek. No? Nothing? Where uh, they go into what a town? Are you talking about like mannequins? That, that... That's why I don't want to... I mean, it's just... It's like a guy's getting hung off of a, a bridge. Oh, right. And then like the rope breaks and he falls underwater and he like manages to like get free and then like he swims to shore and they're shooting at him and he finally gets to shore and then he managed to get to a village and he finds like his love and he falls in love and lives happily ever after and, and then, then like it just cuts back to him like falling like just being hung like the whole thing was just like in the last head. moments of death it's oh. a really fucking cool episode with the yeah. fucking just haunting ending so basically wow. exactly what we just did yeah yeah that's why I'm saying it reminds oh, me of that's that crazy. But, that's crazy uh, it's uh, really good check it out it's on YouTube yeah I mean, this this episode of our podcast was pretty haunting too. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Even like, you, I mean, we like never the... found out what happened to Ellie May, but I guess she was in his head. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. And I guess we never found out what happened to the British people, but I guess it was in his head. Oh no, they got crushed <laughs> by coins. Yeah, crushed and, and by coins. Sixteen million. I think coins. oil. The oil just killed everyone but him, right? Right. Well, West Coast anyway. Yeah. East Coast was probably still thriving, <laughs> and 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 the oil demon just getting fed up with. Daniel's antics. Yeah. Just walking away. Yeah. yeah. I wish I could pull the fucking name of the oil demon. Rob Norman's going to be real pissed. Yeah. If he ever, <laughs> if he ever listens to this. <laughs> um, yeah. I wish I was trying to pull it too, but I think uh, I was trying to remember the name of the episode too. It's episode seven, I believe. It's season two. Season one. One. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Season one. Yeah. Of course. Because season two is uh, Dr. Pulaski, right? Probably that fucking, who cares about her? No, but I'm saying that's like a... Yeah, I mean, that, yeah. That's yeah. a watershed moment where you're like... This doctor sucks. <laughs> yeah. And then well, it brought Crusher brutal. right back. Uh, you know that she was in the original series as like one yeah. of the young hot girls? Yeah, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah, Star Trek is kind of... Like, incestuous. Uh, incestuous yeah. that way, yeah. Yeah, they'll just bring people back. It's like, he was a Klingon last time. Nobody will recognize him yeah. now as a Romulan. Yeah, like... There's Come a, on. There's a, there's a guy that's played like... A Ferengi, a Klingon, a human. Like, he's played, like, a million different... You put all that makeup, you can't tell anyway. Yeah. Like, what about, uh... What's, what's Rob Norman? What's Ron Howard's son? Brother. Clint, <laughs> Clint, Clint Howard. Howard the, like, he already yeah. looks like an alien, kind of. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. played a million aliens on Star Trek, I think. Well, he was the kid alien on the original series, and he's a Ferengi, I think, on Next Generation. Yeah, but I think he was, like, two Ferengis. Two different Ferengis, I think. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, something, like, weird like that. Anyways, I'm kind of half-talking on my ass. This is one thing I got to get to, John. That oil demon voice. Can you say "I'll get you next time, gadget" in that voice? <laughs> yeah, I can. <laughs> I'll get you. Nope. <clears throat> no, nothing quite it. <sighs> yeah. <clears throat> I'll get you next time, gadget. Next time. Say next time. <laughs> that was great. Thank nice. you. I needed that. I needed no that. problem. <laughs> anyway. Uh-oh. What did so, I do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been fun, guys. I like it. Fun. Uh, yeah. But fun episode, guys. Thanks, Quentin, so much for coming and doing this. It's super fun. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. 
Yeah, thanks, guys. That's yeah, fun. you seem to know that movie very well. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. It's a go. I, I'm excited. He, he has the new one coming out in a week or so. Oh, what? shit, yeah. So excited. Who, Dan Day Lewis or the. No, no, no. P.T. Anderson. Anderson. Oh, okay. Uh, it right. looks good, though. Yeah. It looks great. Yeah. What is it? Come on, Inherent guys. Vice. Yeah. Inherent Vice. That's correct. <laughs> Set in <laughs> the 70s. 70s? Yeah. Joaquin. Joaquin? Is Joaquin? It's, Joaquin. it's ja- 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 Jao Quinn, yeah. Right, right. Jao Quinn. Yeah, P. P. Honix. P. 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 Honix. 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 Yeah. Guys, P-Honix. I miss River Phoenix. I'm going to say it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Moment of silence? Yeah. <laughs> Ching! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Got a wrap around. Nice. Oh, that's great. Uh, well done, thank you. Guys, right. we love you. Thank you, Quentin, uh, j- for joining us. See Calvin Ball. Yeah. Uh, third Raider Friday review. of every month. Yeah. Yeah. Third Friday of every month. Uh, rate and review us on iTunes. Uh, follow us on Facebook. Oh man, we would love, we'd love to get some uh, some comments on iTunes. So if you just take a second to like give us a five stars and give us a little a little comment because that helps people find the yeah. podcast. Make sure you do five stuff. stars though, because if you don't do five stars, I'll fucking we'll kill. find you and we'll fucking eat your bread. Fuck. Oh. And if we ever made any mistakes. Be sure to correct oh, yeah, absolutely yeah. <laughs> absolutely yeah like I, yeah. I sometimes we do miss things here and there or, or flub because maybe our memory is not perfect yeah but i feel like this one was pretty it was pretty mm-hmm. great yeah. i feel like we got a letter super early on like episode two or something didn't we get a letter it wasn't someone that early, correcting yeah. that yeah yeah somebody being like i think you guys got this wrong yeah <laughs> amazing <laughs> but it was like they listed two things and we had 70 things wrong yeah oh i gotta throw one other thing out there <laughs> So, I mean, I mean, I don't know when this episode's coming out or, or whatever, but we had our one year anniversary just recently. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, to celebrate the four of us or, or uh, the nice guys went to a... Uh, Not br- me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, the three of us and Raul uh, went to a Brazilian steakhouse in, in memory of our favorite listener, Caio from Brazil. So shout out to Caio. Yeah, Caio. Yeah. What's up? Oh, man. Uh, they were playing Bossa Nova music. We were mm-hmm. thinking of you. Yeah. They were dancing the limbo, which made no sense. We were thinking of you. <laughs> <laughs> they were singing Happy by Pharrell. Yeah. We were yeah, thinking think of you. It was uh, a real weird melange of like just... It, like we were... It was basically just an old man's wedding. Ha- best wedding experience. You know, like just, ah, we're going to dance some Macarena for no reason because that's fun. You know, all the things that old men like to do when they get drunk at a wedding. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. But anyway, so... Uh, <laughs> well, it was fun. Yeah, it was fun. We had so much meat. Oh, I'm oh still God. full. Yeah. I, I've had, like, nothing. I just had fruit today. Oh, it's been and it's 15 hours or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, more, yeah. It's been almost 24. Yeah. It's Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not hungry either. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> thanks for listening. Uh, thanks for enduring our like last night dinner <laughs> experience uh, should we talk about what meats were oh yeah so meats? I really like the turkey wrap bacon the turkey was great yeah <sighs> I was so bummed I didn't get a chance to uh, yeah. get that oh to be clear it was bacon wrapped turkey not yes. turkey wrapped yeah. bacon although that would be great I don't know if it would no, the tur- no. bacon would just be raw in the middle yeah I don't want that no I don't want that um yeah <laughs> this is also Q's worst I, nightmare because I, he's, a, he's a vegetarian I went to one of those all you can eat meat places but uh, when you when you ate meat no, no it was for a friend's bachelor party oh, oh, yeah. oh man so you paid 50 bucks to eat yeah. the salad bar it's like yeah exactly oh, oh man oh, fuck no, you that sucks. I, I was proud of myself for being a good friend but it was uh it was rough yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah i'm yeah. sure you yeah. could have couldn't you have said to them like hey i'm a vegetarian do you not have a ten dollar option i i was expecting they'd have a, a some tiered Thing. Yeah, yeah. And right. they said no, or you didn't ask, you just went, went for it. No, they just have the yeah. one thing. It's just one price. Yeah. yeah, and it's also like that's the other all you can eat restaurants that have a buffet or whatever also have like order off a menu, so you could order like just an appetizer or something. Yeah. But that's, you're right. Brazilian Steakhouse is the only place where the only option we have is this buffet situation. Is the that is thing. a big like F you to vegetarian, so because they, there's literally nothing you can have. Like, yeah, yeah. The pineapple at the end, yeah. like the roasted pineapple, which was. That's so good. good. That was yeah. really good. Yeah, that was so good. Although I ha- I've heard people say, like, going to visit Brazil, that it's kind of like that. It's like rice and beans and meats. And if you're a vegetarian, it's really rough for trying to yeah. find food. I guess, yeah, they brought, like, they had, like, deep fried bananas and mashed potatoes. And there was a couple of vegetarian, like, whatever. Right, yeah. Non-meat things. Mushrooms. Yeah. 
but not enough to be filled. No, it wasn't. No. It wouldn't be a meal. Not a fifty dollar meal, that's for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, man. And you get to do the cheeses and the stuff from the. That's true. Yeah. This conversation is going to go on <laughs> twenty more minutes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just hang in there. Yeah. Thanks uh, for still listening. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you haven't tuned out yet, yeah, yeah. Send us uh, your dinner plans. We so have, that's yeah. how I remember. We it. fucking. Q had a killer joke with the, the moment of silence, and we, it was the perfect ending moment, <laughs> and we didn't end. <laughs> I know. Uh, but yeah, but do send us, yeah, do, like Chargel said, do send us your dinner, uh, whatever you had for dinner last night, too. That's how I remember it at gmail.com, and we will read it. Oh, this is a promise that I, am I going to make this promise? <laughs> you just made it. You I just made, made it. it. I they'll, said it. They'll read no, it you to themselves. No, you know what? Yeah. If you guys send us, we'll we'll read the most interesting one. Yeah. Well, and, and throw a, uh, a movie suggestion in there, and then we'll, yeah. we'll do your movie next if, we, if you send us a movie suggestion, we'll, we'll absolutely do it. If you send us your food <laughs> dinner suggestion, we'll read the best one out of the however many that come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then we'll do Guess Who's Coming for Dinner. Is that a movie? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's with Sidney uh, Poitier. Sydney Poitier. It's a, it Sydney was a Poitier. pretty good movie. It's one of those movies that's like of the time, so it's kind of on the nose. There was also oh. a role reversal starring Ashton Kutcher, called Guess Who, I think. Really? It was oh, Ashton Kutcher, yeah, yeah. and he's got like a black fiance, and he goes to meet her family. Oh wow, yeah. that's terrible. Yeah. Jesus, I didn't see it. I was uh, just like, yeah, reverse racism. Yeah. <laughs> Which is, yeah. I think, still racism, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I don't know what it's absolutely. Yeah, the term that was always strange to me. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. So send us, <laughs> send us your reverse racism, yeah. <laughs> and we will read the best one on the air. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off! Come on, yeah. let's end this show. <laughs> right. Bye. 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 The uh, the prime rib was pretty good too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah too fatty for me. Yeah, 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 yeah a little yeah, too yeah, fatty. Yeah. But the lamb? Mm-mm. It no, was the lamb was not good. Disgusting. Mm-hmm. It's too lamby. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. lamby. All right. Bye. 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 The Copacabana had like a, which is a different place, had like a a, a meat with cheeses shoved into it. Are you kidding me? What? I know. I like, need that in my body. Yeah. Now. Yeah. So it was like. It would come and it was like they cut holes in the meat before cooking it, shoved cheese in, and it would like melt down the side. Jesus. So they'd come and carve off Ugh. meat and it would be like steak with cheese just oozing out the side. And then once they cut out the outside, they'd take it back and heat it again so more cheese would ooze out. Anyway, they didn't have that at this one we went to. <laughs> Bye! Bye! I mean, yesterday we had their cheapest wine as well, and it was still forty-five so, bucks a bottle. Yeah, it was still it was forty-five oh, bucks um, a bottle, but it was it was good. It was uh, a good wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had many bottles of it. We really did. Oh yeah. boy, that fucking sticker shock at the end when we got the the bill. Yeah, yeah. We're like, oh, thank God, this is our one-year anniversary because yeah. yeah, we boy. can't spend five hundred bucks on a fucking meal. Nope. Oh boy. Once a year though. Yes. Yeah. Once a year, maybe. Yeah. Bye. 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 So third Friday of every month, right, Q? Yeah. Cool. And cool. I make I make the promise we'll always book something better than us. Like we'll always be the worst part of the show. It's a great deal because Calvin Ball's great, so if it's better than them, that's super great. Super great. Uh yeah. Yeah. Bye. 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 So uh <laughs> I know. Are you, yeah. Do you want to talk about your existential crisis now, Cheryl? <laughs> in the no. middle of the fucking episode? <laughs> I'll right. say that for the next episode. Bye. 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 <laughs> hey guys, do you think we're like beating this bye thing to like a dead horse? Bye. 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 Feedback can be sent to that's how I remember it at gmail.com. And music for this episode is provided by Music Alley. Bye, Mithy.